Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to link to internal sec sections of a page with anchor elements. Anchor elements can be used to create internal links to jump to different sections within a web page. To create an internal link, you assign a link's href attribute to a hash symbol plus the value of the ID attribute for the element you want to internally link to, usually further down the page. Then you then add, uh, uh, then you then need to add the same ID attribute to the element you are linking to. An ID is an attribute that uniquely describes the element. Below is an example of internal anchor link and its target element. So as you can see, there's a, there's an a ref here, and then it, it 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 links to the pound contact header, and then down further there's an h2 that has an ID of the exact same word, right? Contacts header, context header. So this is an h2 element, meaning a heading element, and this is a link element. The link element sends the person down directly. Um, when the user clicks on the context list, basically they'll be taken to the section of the web page with the context header element. So what we're going to do is change our external link to an internal link by changing the href attribute to footer. And the text of from cat photos to jump to bottom. We're going to remove the target.blank. This is basically what makes it so that it opens in a new window, right? This is the code in the anchor that opens in a new window. We're going to remove that attribute from the anchor tag since this caused the linked document to open in a new window. Then we will add an ID attribute to the value of footer. There we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is find this, this one. Um, we can see the target blank is there. We want to get rid of that. And then we also want to change the href so that it targets the footer. And so here we're just going to add hashtag footer. Boom. Okay. And so our h2 element should be... Okay, so what we're trying to link to is this footer element down here. And so what we want to do is add in id is equal to um, footer. So... Okay, interesting. There's a bug in this system. That's why it keeps opening up this window because we have the code correct up here. Um, but I'm passing all the tests with the exception of the text should be jump to bottom. I didn't change that. So if I come back up here and I add this jump to bottom, we'll see the text has changed here. And if I click that, it should jump down to the page. If this was properly working, but there's some sort of a bug in free code camp, that's why it's not going down to the bottom. Because if I were to run this in a separate website, it would work perfectly fine. Um, but if I run the test, we pass. And the lesson's still the same. When you're building websites, you can use that hashtag. And it's a very common thing to use on websites. So you'll see it often. So we might as well keep moving on. We've passed the test. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next one.